Decorating a journal can be such a joy, can't it? On good days, it lifts my spirits even higher, and on those not so great days, it offers a bit of comfort. Today, we will be exploring three good notes tools that really help make your notes come alive: the pencil. Highlighter and eraser. If you use good notes for studying, you will find this especially handy. So do stick around. In the last episode, we covered how to get the most out of the pen tool and shared a few tips about setting the perfect page size. It might be worth giving that video a watch first, especially if you're working to get the fundamentals down. Or go back to the clip after watching this video. And if you'd like to master goodness in a flash, there's also a 30-minute tutorial you can reference anytime. This is the second video of my six-week goodness series, where we'll dig into every last detail of each tool. I'll be sharing all my hand-done tips, so don't forget to stay in the loop and join me on this digital journaling journey. Digital journaling journey.、Hmm, a little bit difficult to pronounce. Right then, today we are talking all about the pencil, highlighter, and eraser tools. The pencil tool is wonderfully versatile. You can jot things down, underline, and add lovely decorative touches to your pages. I often use the pencil tool for little drawings or to embellish images or headings. If you tap on the pencil icon. You will spot the draw and hold setting. Once you enable this, you can create shapes just as you did with the pencil tool. Though, unlike the pen, there is no option fill color, so you will fill shapes in by hand if you wish. This tool is spot on for creating straight lines and adding shady effects too. Thinking drawing isn't your forte. Don't worry. I've never been much of an artist myself. I usually find a reference image on Pinterest and sketch over it directly. For example, let's say we are drawing a flower. First, pick out the color from your image by tapping the color slot in the pencil tool. Select the empty circle at the bottom. Then tap the pencil icon up top. I'm gonna set the thickness to 0.0 millimeter and trace the outline. With a slight chunkier pencil, you can fill in the shape. Easy, right? Try the same for the stem. I personally really appreciate the textured, natural feel of this tool. Plus, by tilting your stylus, you can change up the thickness and create a beautifully rough look.
and in the shadow for more depth, just pop the image to the front and sketch the shadow beneath your flower. Looks brilliant, doesn't it? Next up, the highlighter. Enable the draw and straight line setting to create perfectly neat highlights every time. Or turn it off for a looser, hand-drawn feel. If you are using this tool while drawing, don't forget about stroke stabilization. At 0%, highlights can come out a bit wobbly. But turn it up and your drawing look will be lovely and smooth. It's a great way to decorate your pages. What's the reduce latency setting all about? You will find this in the pen, pencil and highlighter tools. I find this especially helpful with the highlighter and the brush pen. Turn it on and your lines appear on screen much faster, which is perfect when you are underlining text in, say, a textbook. And in the PDF files, you can underline the text automatically with just a tap. Simply press on the text with your finger or use your pencil with the lasso tool. Then select Highlight. One thing to note, the selection highlights does linger a moment after you underlined. I do wish good news you sort that out. Now, let's chat about the eraser tool. There's a three size options. several styles to choose from, precise. If you need to erase a small detail, precise does the trick. Standard. Standard covers a bit more, handy for general writing. And stroke. Stroke will erase the entire pen stroke in one go. As a reminder from last time, you can also scribble over text to erase it with the pen tool and there are options to erase only highlighter or tape mask, leaving your actual writing untouched. You'll also find an option to clear the entire page if you need a fresh start. Check out the auto deselect setting too. Leave it off and you will stay on the eraser after using it. Switch it on and you will jump right back to your previous tool when you lift your stylus. And don't forget, if you double tap your pencil, you can switch to the eraser instantly. So handy when note taking on the go. If you're feeling stuck decorating your journal or unsure where to begin, why not journaling along with me step by step? Today, we've given the pencil, highlighter and eraser tools a closer look. Give these tips a go when you're on notes. In our next video, we'll cover the lasso, tape, shape, and ruler tools.
If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss what's coming up next. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you again soon.